the back boy. <laughs> Yaksha TV, they sound sure they don't With the family mind this time then you know me I go fine and take a little wine behind them if you feel it to move then just kick off your shoes then do it yourself. Hi everybody, my name is Carlin and I'm the chair of For the Field Carnival. Right, we just want to say welcome back to Huddersfield Carnival 2013. And we're back in Greenhead Park. Is everybody enjoying themselves? 
Right, well, we are also glad to be back in Greenhead Park and be thankful for the fantastic weather, yeah? So, <laughs> your nails are pretty, right. go ahead, go ahead. Thank you. It's all right, go so, on. we just want to say thank you to all our sponsors, thank you to all of the committee that put this event together because it takes forever to do. So, we just want to thank them and most, and we want to thank our masqueraders because without masks, there's no carnival. So we just want to thank all our masqueraders today. And we want to thank you for coming out to our event. Yeah? So we just want you to enjoy yourself. And now we're going to bring on the masqueraders and show you the costumes and what we've been doing all year. Thank you. Thank you. We start preparations for the next year's carnival around the February of that year. Right? Sometimes we start earlier. Next year's our 30th, so we're starting from October this year. But we tend to generally start from January, February, after our AGM. Well, we're back to the park for the first time in four years. This is our first time back to the park. So we anticipated lovely weather and, you know, the crowd from the park as well as our faithful followers of Carnival. So, but for the last two years, it's been massive anyway. We have a crowd of probably an estimate of 35,000 when we had it in St. George's Square last year. So we thought it would be a lot bigger than this year and it was. The costumes are always fantastic and that's what it is. Without masks there's no carnival. Without masks we can't have carnival. So we do encourage masqueraders to come out there and they do put the effort in. It takes a lot of preparation because they start like six, seven months in advance to get these costumes ready. Some of them were still working up till last night preparing these costumes but they got it ready for the day. Next year we're endeavouring it to be a million times better. 